One of the most important things to remember in concussion and the management of concussion is that there is not only an issue of returning to play and returning to sports, it is also important, of course, to return to classrooms and academics. And in fact, a return to play issue should not come into decision making until the student is fully returned to um, daily schools or full academics. One of the first things that we uh, plan to do with a concussion is of course is to rest the brain and that a lot, a lot of times involves uh, keeping the student at home for a day to up a week just to give them total brain rest. And that includes, for example, not using computers, not using cell phones, uh, not uh, driving, if they're involved in driving. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean to leave them in a dark room and do nothing, or as we used to say, to cocoon them, uh, simply because that's really not feasible and actually has been found not to be very helpful. So after the first a uh, couple of days of complete resting, we do plan to gradually increase um, academic or cognitive involvement, starting with even simple issues of looking up at computers for 30 minutes to see what you can handle, um, and then slowly, uh, gradually have them return to full schooling. Now, that may involve issues such as um, restricting or at least modifying some of the issues at school. And by modification, we mean, for example, not have them use computers or giving them a screen for computers so that they're not irritated by the lights. We also, during a classroom, we may require um, breaks so that they can, particularly, uh, so that they can leave, particularly in those classes that require a lot of attention or a lot of focus. Uh, we may want them uh, to participate into uh, during rest period separate from all the other students. And just like we would do in return to play protocols, we would do this in return to academics protocol slowly so that if they go for a 24 hour, 48 hour period and do well, then they can progress to the next step with eventually uh, being ready to do full homework, participate in tests, etc. At the beginning, for example, they may not be able to take a full test or if they are able to take full tests, they may need additional times. One of the things to remember is to not necessarily postpone things, but to modify things. Because what you also don't want later on in the course of the students, you don't want them to get to a point where they're so far behind that it becomes even more stressful for them to, do, to catch up on all that work. The thing to remember with concussion is that 90, over 90% 90 of all students who have concussion by four weeks, they're back to basic activity, to all activities. Some, some uh, may be able to return to their activities within two weeks, some within three, some within four. So in many ways, the modification or the adjustments that you may make in some of their learning, whether it's giving them extra time for testing, avoid testing, extra time for homework, extra time for projects, uh, half-day school versus full-day school, again, has to be individualized to the need and the full assessment of the child. Anything that usually persists for more than, you know, eight weeks or 12 weeks, uh, or anything for that matter, four weeks in some of these students, really needs more full testing of 504 accommodation or some school accommodation that may last a little bit longer.